yeah, they're gonna do it. They're doing it. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Ah, what the? F yo, 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 yo. What is up? Welcome back to another episode of Bobby Guy Films, the best waterfowl channel on YouTube. Today, I'm gonna go over, you know, maybe one, two, three different types of calls real quick, not real in depth. If you guys want to see me go in depth, you know, feeder call, comeback call, hill call, and the quack, let me know. I will do a series maybe in a few weeks to get in deep of each one of those types of calls. So if you guys are interested, especially you beginners out there, uh, let me know in the comment section below, guys, if you want to see those in depth calling videos. But first, we are gonna get started, and the reason why I'm doing this is for the beginners. Guys, everybody's a beginner, everybody has to start somewhere. I used to suck horribly one day, you know, wait, it's probably been six, seven, eight, ten years ago when I actually really, really sucked. I still, I still suck, but you know, got a little better since then. But I'm gonna give you uh, a few duck calling tips, maybe the quack, a feeder, and a hell call real quick. And then I'm gonna get into what you guys need to do to learn better so you can be comfortable around other hunters that you're hunting with and anybody in general to be able to bust that call out and not be hesitant, you know, start squawking around them. That is the number one uh, thing that duck callers, duck, you know, duck hunters in general have to get over is the fear of calling in front of other people. And let me tell you, it's not easy to do. It's kind of, it's it's very nerve-wracking. A lot of you know exactly what I'm saying. But first, let's call in some ducks. So first, learn your quack. Take a full first year. If you're a first-time duck hunter, take the full first year just to get the quack down. <coughs> now to start off, don't just blow. Don't just blow. This is my theory of how I learned and how I call. Give it a little hum. Hum, 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 not that much. I'm just exaggerating it so you can hear it. So give it just a hair hum. Do you hear me humming? Now, with that hum, what it allows you to do is control the pitch of the call. If you just blow on it, see how high pitch and just squawky and annoying it is? You give it a little hum. You're basically gonna say, quit, quit, Quit. That's my way of telling you guys, you know, how to project your voice and the air that you're pushing out of your lungs. Quit. Quit. Start with a deep hum. The more hum you give it, the more rasp it's going to have, guys. So, if you want to rasp, say you're in some timber, it's a wooded hunt, you got to get a little quieter. Quieter. You can give it a little more hum, or a lot more hum, and back off the air. If you're if you're hail calling, uh, back off the hum, give it some more air. So, it's gonna be like a little hum at the beginning, you know, that hook, and then on the hail call, you know, it's gonna go away soon. But the hail call, you know, I'm, I'm trying to really target you beginner waterfowlers here get your quack down first so just get that get that down take a full year to get that down and then worry about moving on to the hail call the comeback call and the feeder let's go through those real quick so i'm trying to make this video a little shorter than what it's probably even going to end up being like usual but the feeder call is extremely hard it's going to take you a few years to get this call this cluck down I use the dugga, 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 dugga. So you're gonna use the hmm, and you're gonna blow a hair a bit, but it's the hmm, dugga, dugga, dugga. So it's hard, you gotta lose your tongue, dugga, dugga. So that's just the dugga, dugga. And then when you muffle it more, give it a little more hum, and then you can see, you can move your tongue how fast you want. So it's However fast you can move and control your tongue movement in the dugga dugga is how fast the cluck is actually going to be. So that's, you know, medium speed to... Oh, that was horrible. So you can get really fast with it. I'm not the best at feeder calls, so I'm just saying dugga dugga, that is the feeder cluck. 
most of all, once you get your quack down, you'll come to the hell call. You know, this is a call that's going to be loud. You're trying to get their attention from far away. This isn't a call that you're going to use close range, guys. Oh, sorry. Got the burps today. So, the hell call, comeback call, I kind of call them the same thing. I, I'm not a big call advocate, but uh, there's, you know, kind of three essentials to this duck call. Quack, hell call, feeder. That's really what I, what I use. I even call it the comeback call, hell call, same thing. So you're going to get loud, you're going to want to get their attention. You're going to start out with a slight hmm, barely, but then the breath is really going to take over and you're going to use it more as a horn. So the first three, you know, quacks are going to be a little drawn out and then they get shorter from, from there on. You don't have to do eight or seven honks. All you got to do is, you know, maybe that five to six. So. So six, that was six. That was kind of muffled because of my hand. But five, six, seven of those uh, those hell calls, good to go. So guys, real quick, I'm gonna get to the meat and potatoes of why, what influenced me to make this. I vividly, very vividly can remember being a beginner waterfowl and being nerve, waterfowl, being a beginner waterfowler and being nervous to blow my call around others, even if I knew that I could blow as good as them, it was still nerve wracking. Here are some tips that I did to get over that nervous feeling because once you do, I promise you, you're gonna have a lot more fun in the field when you're confidently calling your call. So like I said, this was like eight, 10 years ago. I sat in front of YouTube. I am not lying you one bit. I found one guy that I liked, how he described it, and I mimicked him. I completely mimicked him until I felt confident that other people weren't going to think I was an idiot when I blew this thing. So that, guys, is why I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you want me to get really in-depth, I will. Believe me, I don't mind it. I just want to know that you guys want to see it. So if you guys want to see me get really in-depth into each call, let me, let me know down below in the comment section. I'm not the greatest duck caller around. I'll tell you that right now. But I am confident and I think it's okay. You know, I don't think it sounds like complete garbage. <laughs> Beginner waterfowlers, if it's your first, you know, that first year especially and you're not comfortable with your call, you went and bought them, you got your lanyard, the whole nine yards. If you're not comfortable calling and you're going hunting with people that can call, look, leave the call at home. Now, to all the haters that's getting ready to comment down below, oh my god, you're telling them to leave the call home, oh my god, you're being mean. No, I'm not being mean. The reason why I say that is because I would rather leave my call at home, have a good time hunting, rather than bring it as a beginner waterfowler fowler with, you know, maybe I'm hunting with guys that's hunted four, five, six plus years, who knows, maybe they're great. I would rather leave it at home than taking it and basically getting discouraged in the field or at the pond and affecting the hunt, you know, just, you know, how we all get all bent out of shape, some, shape sometimes. So, you know, just find you some good videos. Let me know down below if you want me to do them. I'm really interested in it, uh, but I want to make sure you guys are on board to do that. We all were beginner waterfowlers at one time, guys. That's why I'm making this video because I can relate to each and every one of you. I remember it, like I said, very vividly. I'm not discouraging you if you don't know how to call, but leave it at home until you're comfortable or unless, you know, maybe hopefully, hopefully you hunt with people that you're comfortable either way. So that's that's the main thing. You hunt with good friends who don't give a who don't give a shit anyway. So that's just my two cents on this whole calling mess. But frankly, when you start learning, guys, it gets addictive. You're gonna fall in love with your call and uh, you'll be blowing that sucker all the time, driving in your truck, sitting at home, watching more videos on your phone. You will get addicted to blowing this thing because the more you blow this, the better, you know, just better and better and better and better you're gonna get. So blow this thing a lot. Find you some tutorials that you really enjoy. You know, like, like, like mine, you know. Whew. But anyways, enough of the duck calling real quick. We're going to wrap this bad boy up. I got some big plans for the channel for upcoming videos, you know, within the next few weeks. Uh, this week, I'm going to go ahead and go grab our decoy trailer. 
yeah, it's got everything in it. It's a mess. I'm going to go ahead and grab that sucker and uh, we're going to, uh, you know, tear the blinds out of it. We're going to, we're going to do, see what's in the blinds. We got eight lay down blinds of the thing. So I can only imagine what's in these things. We're going to go through some decoy reviews. We're going to do all types of stuff. So there's a, there's a lot coming up on the channel. I know it's the middle of summer. A lot of you uh, just got that foul, just, God, I miss it, field type of feeling up in you. I got the same thing too. I'm trying to keep you guys fed through this long, hot, dreadful summer until we get back to the waterfowl season where we can get in the field and slay some fowl, if you know what I mean. Oh, but I want to thank you all for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. It's right there. Click that notification bell so you can get a little notification when I upload. So you can go watch that tasty little lick. I got some compilation videos. I got a couple goose hunts that aren't out yet. So come on back, y'all. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.